Okay then, now I would like to talk about this foreign key. This foreign key defines a many-to-one relationship. That means for each place you need to link a category. Let's say you are creating a place. Then you need to specify a category. And that category will be linked to this place. Also, I would like to point out that you can link as many places as you want to a single category. But a single place cannot be associated with two categories at the same time. Let's say you are creating a place. You cannot associate that particular place with two categories at the same time. I think it's clear. Now, I also want to talk about this on delete models cascade. That means object containing the foreign key will be deleted. For instance, let's say you have category and then you have a place and that place is linked to the previous category. If you delete the category, place will be deleted as well. That's on delete models cascade min. Now, we need to do one more thing in here. So this image is currently set to place images folder. That means all images will be stored in this particular folder. But I also want to specify a media folder. So let's do that. And we need to go to settings.py file. And then we need to specify our media folder in here like this so right after the static url i'm specifying these two uh, commands which are relating to media so as you can see i have here media that means our that will be our media folder i haven't created this folder yet and i'm gonna do it right now so i'll click on this and then new folder media so all our, sorry, it should not be inside Australia Culture Heritage Project. It should be within this. It should be next to Culture Heritage Backend and Frontend. So again, it's inside Culture Heritage Backend, sorry. So it should be right in here. So it's now in the correct position. So you can see next to culture heritage backend front end I have a folder called media. So let me save this settings.py and then go back to models.py. So my images will be stored in media slash place images. So that's it regarding this video and we will continue our tutorials in the next one.